much. Thank you. Hey, welcome to the show. My guests today say they're all at war because of strippers. I'd like you to meet Lee. She says she's fed up with her fiance's obsession with new dancers, and if he doesn't stop going to the strip club, she's calling off the wedding. Yeah. Lee, what's going on? Well, to say the least, I'm upset. I mean, you know, I'm I'm in love. I'm in love with Tim. How long have you been going together? We've been together for six years. We got engaged last Christmas. And what happened? Well, Things we things were great between us. He used to hang out with his friends like all guys do, and occasionally they went to strip clubs. Occasionally has turned into always. Occasionally has turned into every weekend. Every weekend he goes to a strip club. Sometimes every night of the weekend. He spends all of our extra money, and I don't know what extra time is, but any time that he has is spent on these sluts. Uh Um, it's better than putting your money into a slot machine. Well, at least uh, there may be some return from a slot machine. God knows what they're giving him. Do you, uh, when you tell him that, what does he say to you? I mean... He shrugs it off. He thinks anytime I say anything, I'm a bitch. Because I'm a woman, I'm bitching. If I say anything, I'm crazy. Why is it crazy? Well, what if, what if he's going, I'm not defending him, but what if he says, well, I go to these clubs, nothing's happening, I'm just standing, I'm just sitting there watching them dance. You don't go anywhere that many times just to look. Okay. Come on, these, everybody knows these girls, if they will get naked for money, I'm sure there's rooms in the back where they'll do anything for money. <laughs> All right. Well, one of the, uh, one of the women who dances at the place where uh, your fiance goes is here, and we're going to meet her. Her name is Miko. You are such a fat ass. Your man wouldn't be coming to see what? me. What? You are such a fat ass. Your man wouldn't be coming to see yeah, me. Yeah, well, my ass isn't for sale. Neither's mine, baby. Yeah, right. Whatever. Whatever. Neither's Whatever. Mine. Whatever. If you're willing to give it away for money, I'm sure you're willing to give baby, it up. I do this just like everybody else has a job. I get naked for money. Yeah, but I know I put what kind of job school, you got. You I'm sure much. I know what kind of job you ever, bitch. <laughs> Okay, her complaint, what happens at these clubs? She says she's worried that a fiance comes to your club and it's more than just sitting there watching women dance. Well, more or less, it's like a fantasy. I mean, they come there to see exotic Fantasy dancers. whores? What the <laughs> Whatever. Why don't you come with your man? Plenty of couples but come I would, to That is disgusting. You make me want to throw We're up. not. Why We're not up there hell? masturbating on stage? Yeah, whatever, whatever. I, I'm That's sure. What I'm sure home. on Thank stage is one thing, but you know, I'm sure in the uh, for a little extra money, there's somewhere you could go to do not whatever clubs, it is baby. you do. Not in my clubs. Yeah, well, I'm sure the clubs that you own. What about? I know we're yelling. At, I mean, I know you're upset with her, but isn't your argument really with your fiance? I mean, he's she's doing. That's her living, and he's the one that's going there. I No respect for anyone that is going to sell their body for a living. I don't okay. sell my body. Yeah, right. Renting it out, whatever. <laughs> All I can think of is him with these sluts. Does he yell out their names? <laughs> well, does he? Well, the point, I'm being flippant, but the point I'm making is, are you concerned, and I'm legitimately, are you concerned that while he's with you, he's really thinking about them? That's well, of fair. course, what I'm really concerned about is if he spends that much time, it's that important to him, I am not going to be made to feel second best so for a bunch of sluts. So you'll say if he keeps going to those clubs, he's gone? I'm telling you, we're supposed to get married on Valentine's Day. This means he's mine. If he can't be all mine, it's over. Okay. Well... I tell you what, we're going to find out how he responds to that uh, when we come back. Stay with us.
Welcome back. If you just joined us, uh, we've been talking to Lee. Uh, Lee has been engaged to, uh, uh, to Tim for almost a year. Uh, they've been together for several years. Six. Uh, six years. And, uh, but Lee's upset with him, even though they're planning to get married in a few months, because he always, according to her, goes to these uh, strip clubs. And uh, he seems obsessed with it. And it's getting on her nerves. She's saying, basically, hey, you're engaged to me. You're going to be married to me. I'm the woman you should be with, not spending your time in nightclubs on the weekends and weeknights staring at naked women. So we had Miko come out here, who is a strip at one of these clubs, and said, hey, it's all innocent fun. It just feeds the fantasy. And then he goes home to, uh, then you go home to your wife or your fiance. That's not good enough for Lee. Let's find out what Tim has to say about all this. Here is your fiance, Tim. Tim, you're engaged. What do you want to yes, say? Sir. What do you want to say to Lee? Well, first off, you're just overreacting. This is some stupid <laughs> Jerry. I mean, we've been arguing okay. about this just for three days. Just because I react? Days. Because I'm reacting, I'm overreacting? No, you're choosing to overreact. Yes, you are overreacting. This is no big deal. I'm going here with the fellows. We're hanging out. We're drinking. You know, we're not doing anything. It's not like I'm sleeping with her. She's not. But she's, you're going. I'm not doing anything. How is it not doing oh. anything if you know it hurts me so bad? Look, How that's not my problem. This is your if problem. My heart, it's my problem. Yes, my this problem is your problem. Is you. Well, I guess I'm your problem. I love you. When and I love you, baby. I want to be with you. It's good between us. I want to. I want to be with you the rest of my life. You're going to be with them too. That's your choice. Look, you're putting a, you're putting this choice on me. This is not me. This is all you, baby. Why do you go every weekend? <laughs> it's fun, Jerry. It's a lot of fun. I really, I get a big kick out of it. No, what does there's she nothing... do? What does she do that your I... fiance doesn't? What? Excuse me. What does Lee? I'm sorry. What does uh, Miko do that l your fiance Lee? She doesn't? She does absolutely nothing for me. It's goods for services. She dances. I pay her, and I leave. I don't go home and fantasize about this woman while I'm having sex with oh, my okay, woman. Okay, so you spend every weekend and all of your money on these whores, and you're not thinking about them when you're with me. I'm telling you, I'm not thinking about them. I don't believe you. Well. I just don't, I don't know what to believe anymore. What happens at the club? Basically, I mean, it's, it's no big deal, Jerry. We go, we hang out, we kick back some drinks. You know, you might watch the girl, you might not watch the girl. It's no big deal. I mean, there is, there's very little physical contact in an actual club. I mean, there really is. How is it not a big deal if you know you're breaking my heart by doing I it? I don't mean to be breaking your heart. I want you to just understand this and love me as I who I am. I can't understand it. I do love you, but I don't understand why you can't be with just me. I, I'm, I'm only with just you. <laughs> I am with you. When we're together, it's you. you and I. I don't and believe you. And when I'm away from you, I'm not with this woman. You can go out and spend all this time and just look. Look, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you see what I have to deal with, Jerry? It's like arguing with a brick wall. <laughs> it's like a brick wall. Well, you loved this brick wall at one time. I still you know love this, this brick means? wall. This means you belong to me. Well, I belong to this you. This means love, honor, and obey. All I ask is that you Look. don't spend all our money at the what strip club. She didn't tell me. What, she's not going to tell me what I'm going to do before we're married or after we're married. I'm a man. I'm going to do what I got to do. <laughs> if you were a real man, you'd be at home. What did you bring? What did you bring Miko here for then? Just to show her that uh, obviously she's never been to a club. We brought Miko down so she could do her thing, show us what it's about, show you it's no big deal. Can we, can we get some lights and music?
You see, Jerry, that was totally uncalled for. Clothes back on. Oh, I'm sure you spend most of your time naked. Only a naked Thank is the key much. word, correct? Why would you, with your fiance here, why would you want that to happen? Yeah, why, the, why would you put me through something like that? You know, I can't stand to think about it. Well, I really do not understand why she reacts like that. You I make don't... me want to throw up. You. So throw up. Okay, in fairness, if some guy was coming up to your fiance, and taking off his clothing and grinding right in front of her, you would just sit there and say, Jerry, go ahead, I'd let her go to the bar anytime she wanted to. Hell, I might even go with her. You know, it's no big deal. We were all born naked. I mean, Come I, on. I, excuse me. I was not. I was not put here to, to participate in your your what, sex industry. What, it's sex for money. That's all it is. What are you two going to do now? What are you two going to do? What do you want to say? I'm going to be just like I'm going to be. Okay. I'm going to be just okay. like this, this is the rest it. of my this life. This is it. This means you belong That's to me. That's your choice. You either, you either make the choice. It's either me or it's the strip club whores. Jerry, my choice is to be with her, but I'm not going to stop hanging with my friends and having a good time. It's That's not gonna exactly happen. what I thought. Jerry, you better get this crazy bitch up off me. I'm done. I'm done. Look, you know what? You can have your whores. You can have him. Okay? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. When we come back, when we come back, we're going to meet a stripper who says guys love her 50-inch chest, but another new dancer is here to tell her that she's a bust. I'd like you to meet Monica. She says she's sick of strippers whose bus side is bigger than their IQs. <laughs> Why are you so upset about big busted strippers? Oh, they make it hard for real dancers, dancers that actually have talent like me, to make money. I mean, these guys are paying to see this freak show, and, you know, I'm not well endowed naturally, but they come there, they see that, and they're overwhelmed by it, you know? There's nothing else they can say or do. And and so this business works what on tipping and stuff like that. And yeah. you're worried that they take the business away. Yeah, they do. I mean, you know, these guys are like, oh my God, I never seen anything that big in my life. They get all excited and they're out of there. You know, that's how it happens. Okay. Well, and we have we have someone here who fits that uh, uh, description. <laughs> I'm not easily flustered. Um, her are you name. Are trying to say saline? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's her name. No, her name is. <laughs> her name is Penelope. I'm trying to think of a question. <laughs> what's, what's a question? What does it matter what I ask? Um, okay, uh, Penelope, what Monica is saying while you're uh, strapping on your mic there. Um, <laughs> she can find any place to put I it. I know, I have so much. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's All saying, bought and paid for, baby. She's saying basically that... Uh, I'll paraphrase her, but that you're a surgical wonder and uh, that that is, that is why m these men are coming to the clubs to look at you. And wonder is, that a fair is not assessment? the word for it. Freak. Freak is what it is. I mean, that is just disfigurement. You know, the human body yeah. is beautiful the way it is. What, what is... Can I say anything else? 
Go ahead, Penelope. You two talk. First off, I'm an adult film star and a headliner. Before I had gotten my big breast, I was with Fire and Ice for two and a half years. Uh. The number one dance duo in the country, and I had smaller breasts. It's like a carpenter without tools. It's my tool. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm all that. I have never seen anything. a carpenter with those tools. <laughs> Are you concerned that this is that this becomes? You are getting a lot of pride. It's all are about marketability. Are you concerned that this becomes a caricature of of, of women? That it, yeah, it's kind I mean of they make us look like bimbos. This is not right. This is not how a woman looks. Listen, let's see what they look like. No, I don't. I don't go that low. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry, honey. You're like I'm disgusted. <laughs> well, then you know what? You're in the wrong business because this business is about oddity. And oddity sells. It's what life's about. Honey, what I if do you're is in the not industry, about you oddity, complain okay? I'm and not cut up, up on there. other people. But I'm telling you what, I'm not going to Well, you go, girl, but I'm not, I'm not, I, don't, I make my own money and I'm happy. I'm not saying I'm all that. I'm not telling anyone, oh, you have to have big <laughs> This is just who I am. If I make money at it, I'm not going to do it for But I'm really my sick of girls like her coming into my jealous. club. Getting paid the top dollar, going up there. Can't <laughs> dance. I'm oh, sorry. Can't <laughs> dance because they're too big. <laughs> it's called exotic dancing. It's called exotic dancing. If you're a feature entertainer, that means you get on the stage and you entertain. You, you know, don't walk and bounce. Right now. I'm going to tell you something right now. I have over 40,000 in costumes and these choreographers. Times okay? I will put a contest on with you at any time. A lot of material. I've been dancing very long I've and I'm still in jazz. Bring it on. I've been in musicals. Bring it on because okay, I've been in the biggest Okay, when we come back, we're going to meet a woman who says she won't stop stripping even though she's five months pregnant. Uh, why do you continue to strip while you're pregnant? I feel great. I'm five months pregnant and I look very good. I'm not hurting my baby at, at all. I'm not hurting myself, so why not? I don't take my clothes fully off. I'm more of a comedy stripper right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I'm in there for 20 Honestly, minutes. as soon as you and... walked out here, I said, you know what? There's Honey Youngman. <laughs> um, no. Uh, it's fun. So you... I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not hurting myself. I'm not hurting my baby. Well, aren't you putting your, maybe your baby in, um, in a tough situation, because these clubs, people are drinking. No, I do. Jerry, uh, if she could survive the way, the way we make love, she could survive anything. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> uh, it's an this earthquake is Marvin, every okay. night. Trust me. This is Marvin. Marvin, you're her husband. Yes, I own the company which uh, she strips for. Yeah, but wouldn't you say this is your to your own wife? You know, honey, I love you. I don't want to take any kind of a risk. Um, we're about to have a baby. <laughs> Well, basically, um, when I first met Angel, she worked for the company. I married her. She stopped. Um, four or five months ago, someone called and wanted, you know, someone who's pregnant, comedy stripper. And we didn't have the one at the time. So they called a couple months later, like two months ago, and she actually answered the office phone. She says, you know what? I'll do it. She asked me for my permission. I said, hey, you're a comedy stripper, no problem. So I actually took her myself to make sure there was no danger, no harm. The men don't touch her. She's not get fully nude. So bikini. it's a 20-minute strip. You know, it's, it's more Is of a this joke. something later on you want to tell your child when your child's sure, a little I'll bit older? I'll show them the video. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them the tape. It's a joke, Jerry. It wasn't like it's uh, our money maker. We need to do it. No, it's a joke. For fun. Yeah, it's for fun. I'm not hurting nothing. I'm not hurting nobody. I mean, my act is um, very, very mellow. It's not like I do very flips sensual, and very everything. Very sensual. Very sensual. Very soft. Seductive what do you classic. sing? Lullaby Baby? I mean, <laughs> I just no. dance around, it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> no, she has fun. You know, actually, Jerry, you know what? Why don't we just show the audience what she can do? Lights, camera, music.
How can I deny the human race, the man who raised his body? Oh, my God. Okay. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Yes, okay, let me, let me say this. There is no question. Okay, no one is suggesting for a second that there's anything not uh, beautiful about a pregnant woman. So that's not the issue. You're very beautiful, and you're beautiful even being pregnant. The question is whether or not you are. Are you okay there? Sorry. Okay. Uh, I can't believe I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm I didn't mean that. Why? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you're so funny. What I am just I doing? At you I'm trying so. to have a serious conversation with a woman who's getting dressed. This it just is... winked at you and threw you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, yeah. uh, I tell you what. There's another. Uh, there's another couple here, um, a, a stripper and her uh, boyfriend, mm -hmm. and they want to talk to you. We'll bring them out now. Uh, her name is Destiny, and her boyfriend's name is Virko. Would they rather see a stomach like that? I remember when people used to come on the show and just wave. <laughs> We've come a long way. <laughs> Whatever happened? Hey, how you doing? Uh, okay, what's, what would you like to say to them? I'm just more or less concerned. I mean, you're five months pregnant. You're out there stripping. You could be hurting your baby. I'm, I'm aware that you do bachelor parties only. I do bachelor parties myself, and there's a lot of danger involved in bachelor parties. And that, stuff, could when I, when I come with, stuff could happen to I your baby. I take her personally myself to make sure there is no problem. There's what no, if something happens? Let's say, what if something does happen? You, there is an if, but in my eyes, in it, my dictionary, there is, is no if. It? There is no if in my eyes, in my dictionary. It won't be an if. Because if they can touch her, that go through me. Believe me, it's not even worth it. Not even worth it. What, what man would not protect his wife? Why do you say, ooh, what man would not protect his wife? We protect your wife? My next guest, Juba, says she's the biggest stripper in the country. Let's see why. How are you? Very nice to meet you, yes. So, uh, Juba, how long have you been doing this? Well, ever since I can remember. Do, what kind of reaction do you get? I know you're having a lot of fun here, but what, what kind of reaction do you get when you come out to this? Well, ultimately, it's just like this. It's just like people love me. Yeah. They're like, wow, what a big, <laughs> truly, truly. Big, beautiful woman who's confident about herself. Good for you. That's it. Jersey, That's what I get many phone calls at the office looking for voluptuous women all the time. Ruben Ness. All the time. Voluptuous, yes. Gorgeous women Ruben all the times. time. Think about the 1900s, the 1800s. Beautiful, like, round women. <laughs> Woo! Come okay. on! Let's yeah. hear for round women! Okay. Oh, y'all go y'all self. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what, there's, a, there's, a, there's someone else here, another uh, stripper here who wants to talk to you about oh, that. Her I'd name love to is talk to Ecstasy. Her. Here's Ecstasy. Oh, let's see. Let's see the Ecstasy. Woo! Disgusting. You're a disgusting fat bitch. You're disgracing our 
profession. Well, yes, this is what a real woman looks like. This is it. I have to say, we are women. We got to mold together. We got to bind together. Just to let you know, I think that you are very disgusting in our well, profession. Well, you know what? No, wait, wait. I hear it. Wait. All your life, why haven't you lost no weight? You know what? <laughs> that doesn't matter. That's why you need to go to the rest of your face. Let's have her outside. Let's have her outside and water her twice a day. See what kind of braids a bitch. Protect you? <laughs> Was that lying? I protect my wife. <laughs> That's right. Might be better if she's over there. Can you hear what got to be said? Okay. Why do you, uh, ecstasy? Why do you care what size she because is? Because we don't need that in our clubs. If we see that, if guys come in and see that, they're not gonna come to our clubs. They come to see me just plenty. I'm a performance artist. They line up because they know I am the catalyst. Of women, you are the victim. You are the victim. Am I talking to the hands? Talk to the don't talk to the hands, bitch. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.